Monica Quimby holds the puck she used to score her first international goal. Monica Quimby, Parish, Florida. Monica Quimby keeps the puck from her first international goal inside the Manatee County home she shares with her husband and two stepsons, I will cherish it forever, she said. It came earlier this month against Team Europe during the preliminary round of the second Women's International Para Ice Hockey Cup. Team USA won that game 7-0. It beat Canada 1-0 on Saturday in Ostrava, Czech Republic to capture its second world title. The victory cap what Quimby called an amazing week that saw the most women, more than 100, and the most national teams, more than 10, ever assembled for a pair ice hockey tournament. To make the event more golden for Quimby and her teammates, USA Hockey President Jim Smith announced the Wyman Sled Hockey Team would be included under USA Hockey's umbrella, meaning the women's team will receive some sponsorship money and some of the training perks afforded to the men's team that won the Paralympics gold medal in March. Related, sled hockey star Declan Farmer and Natural on Ice We are the first women's sled hockey team to get picked up by the parent organization, Quimby said. It's huge. It's really huge. It means a lot to each one of us individually and as a team, chalk it up to another accomplished by a group of women who have overcome the loss of their legs or, at the very least, the use of them, to achieve something that not long ago was not part of their wildest dreams. At least it was that way for Quimby, 31, a Maine native who broke her back while skiing when she was 19. Before the injury, Quimby played field hockey and skied for the University of New Hampshire club team. In the immediate aftermath, she figured her days as an athlete were over. I was very angry at first. I knew I was going to get back to college, but I was really mad at sports, she said. I was mad at sports for a long time. I had a hard time getting back into sports, Quimby focused on her academics, earning a degree in molecular biology and master's in higher education. Gradually the anger at sports subsided and Quimby found herself participating in kayaking and hand cycling. She moved to Florida, beginning the drive south from her former home in Maine on October. 1, 2013, so she could pursue kayaking in Fort Myers. The following year, she won silver at an international VAA event, a Hawaiian canoe. Quimby eventually moved to Wesley Chapel, where she took up sled hockey and played in Tampa Bay Lightning's sled hockey program. That is where she met Declan Farmer, the Tampa native who scored a pair of dramatic goals to lift Team USA to the Paralympics title. Quimby said Farmer, a teammate on her first team, had a big impact on her career, he would pass me the puck even though I was having a hard time just trying to skate, she said. Quimby the Lightning sled hockey team won a national title earlier this spring. But the big prize was in the Czech Republic on the international stage. Quimby was an alternate on the 2014 team and did not make the trip to Canada for the inaugural International Para Ice Hockey Cup. This time, she played defense and forward. Her goal came during her first game as a wing. Not bad for someone who was done playing sports, that's what my mother, Nadia, said, Quimby said. She said, oh my gosh, you blew the socks off of that, now the girl who grew up loving all things winter but never played hockey while living in Maine, lives in Florida, and is an international goal scorer in sled hockey, I'm not going to lie, she said. I love the sound of that, and she is not finished. The women's sled hockey team could compete in the Paralympics as early as 2022. Quimby is ready to chase that gold medal, it's really possible now, she said. She is close to moving into a house in Parish that she and her husband, Jeff Brunel, are having built. 
They will live there with Jeff's sons, Tyler, 13, and Austin, 11. She is thinking of pursuing her PhD. Right now, Quimby is an adjunct professor, teaching biology at several area colleges, and teaches the summer science camp at Mosey. She plays hockey with the Lightning Sled Hockey Team, helps Lightning founder and current radio analyst Phil Esposito run his annual charity golf tournament on Siesta Key and eagerly awaits to knock the socks of another challenge. Maybe the Boston Marathon? I'm pretty headstrong, Quimby said. When I get something in my head, I'm going to do it. It may take me a little longer. I might have to do it a little differently nowadays, but it's going to happen. Contact Roger Mooney at via email protected. Follow at Roger Mooney 50.